guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as it's a Sunday, I thought that I would do kind of a bit more of a relaxed and chatty video. And with the summer coming up, I thought I would kind of do a must-have summer makeup item type video. So if you're going on holiday or something like that and you're thinking of what kind of makeup bits to bring, this is basically just like a video filled with products that I literally am in love with and that I would definitely be bringing on my summer holiday. I've left links to everything down below so if you're interested in anything then definitely check them out and leave in the comments down below your holiday makeup must-haves as well. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos but without further ado, shall I show you what my summer makeup must-haves are? Okay, so to begin, I'm gonna start with kind of body and skin makeup type products. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is basically for your body and it is a body oil. This is the Coco Brown Golden Goddess Body Oil. This literally gives you such a gorgeous kind of golden shimmer. I love to apply it kind of down on my legs. It's such a like glittery product. So if you wanna look kind of more like a glittery, golden glowing type thing definitely recommend this it's so good and i love to just kind of like apply it with a mitt just kind of over like your natural tan over your me and you fake tan then obviously fake tan wash off the fake tan and then apply something like this because if you apply this onto like your damp fake tan it'll probably ruin it and come off but yeah i literally love this for like my legs and arms and stuff like that like i said it's more of like a glittery tan and more of like a glittery glow i do have amazing products for more of like that bronzed glow so stay tuned for that but yeah i'm literally obsessed with this moving on is kind of more like skincare type products if that makes sense and i feel like when you're traveling and stuff you want to make sure that your skin stays super hydrated because in hot climates and stuff it gets so dry and i love a good travel size product and this is mac fix plus in the travel size version so you can take this on the plane with you it really like refreshes your makeup throughout the day and makes you feel really like hydrated and nothing feels too tight so if you do like to wear a lot of makeup on holiday but hate the way that it might kind of feel like it's melting off or it's a bit like heavy this is a really good product to kind of just fix it and if that makes sense it's a fix plus so it's not a setting spray it's not going to make your makeup last longer it's more just like a refreshing makeup mist and obviously in a travel size you can take this on a plane with you so it's super super handy so yeah i literally love this as well plus this is really good for like making your eyeshadows look more intense just like before makeup after makeup fix plus is just one of those must-have products i think and this one was in the travel size so i thought it would be perfect for this video next up however is a makeup like setting spray and it is the urban decay all night to setting spray in the chill version so this one is super like cooling and refreshing and i know for me when i'm on holiday doing my makeup in a room that's not necessarily like air conditioned or like there's no fan around i literally feel like i'm like sweltering and i just need to kind of fix it in place i want it to last and not have melted off by the time that i have got to the end of my makeup so this is a super nice one a really refreshing cooling just makeup setting spray put this in your fridge maybe and then once you've finished your makeup and spray it honestly feeling super cool and rehydrated and your makeup's gonna last hopefully <laughs> throughout the whole evening because the whole their whole like all nighter setting sprays and stuff are so 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 good i'm pretty sure this one are like the best in the market and this chill one just makes perfect sense if you want to keep hydrated and refreshed but your makeup to last use this after you've finished doing your summer beat Speaking of makeup, the next one is another skin item, but it's like a type of foundation for you. So a lot of people, I'm not included in this because I'll wear full coverage like anywhere. But I mean, for like just going to the beach or I mean like you might not even want to wear it on the beach. If you just like lightweight makeup, this would be a really a nice one for you. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. So what this is, is basically like a tinted moisturizer, but definitely has more of a matte finish to it and I find with things with a matte finish they tend to last a lot longer and kind of can withstand a lot more because it hasn't got that kind of dewy wet formula to it so it, it's not naturally gonna want to come off your face if that makes sense and it is a more like a skin tint so the formula of this is super lightweight and moisturizing better yet it is SPF 30 so it has some skin protection to it that's kind of why I said to like the beach and stuff because if you want to wear like a little bit of coverage to the beach but nothing too heavy and do want to stay protective this is great for your face plus also when you're on holiday and you get a bit more of like a natural tan you don't want to cover that up so something lightweight again would be perfect for that and yeah I have the color medium one at St. Moritz 
so I'll do like a little swatch of it for you but if you were maybe anticipating becoming a lot more brown you could get this in a couple of shades darker and it would be your perfect kind of holiday foundation for towards the end okay so if you can see the kind of glow on my chest right now this is courtesy of like liquid illuminators they are like my best friend on a holiday I'm not even kidding I love the way that they look on your skin underneath your makeup and on your chest and ones I've been literally loving at the moment are from iconic London I feel like these are everywhere at the moment and for good reason too they are so so pigmented they do them in loads of colors this is the one called shine which I actually have on the top of my cheekbones right here there's nothing else on top I kept it quite like liquid based today so that is what is on my cheeks right here and it, this one is in the shade glow there is another one called their original one which is kind of like a hybrid between them both a lot more of a golden bronze which is so 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 pretty from what I've seen yeah I'm literally obsessed with these you barely need any I'll do like a little demonstration if you want like on my chest but this one is in the color like I said glow and they do sell brushes as well and this is what I've used to apply it this is their buffer brush literally perfect hand size and perfect for your body which is why I like it so these are perfect if you have like a low cut dress or something like that and you just want like a really bronzed chest area it gives you such a gorgeous glow and it has an undertone to it that's a really natural glow as well slightly more of like the bronzed appearance and it's nothing too glittery either so it looks super natural and super healthy plus this brush is really good for doing it it fits really nicely in your hands yeah as you can see as you hit the light it just gives that gorgeous glow to the skin but yeah I've been loving it these at the moment I actually use this one underneath my foundation as well they work so gorgeously to give you like a glow from within and I've been using this one as it's slightly more paler as you can see on the tops of my cheekbones so if you're in the market for a new liquid illuminator definitely try them out I've left the links to them down below and definitely if you've been in the market for like a body brush as well there's like a sculpting one as well that's perfect for like cream contouring and all that good stuff but I've been loving this one to buff in the product as you can see sticking with the makeup theme I am going to show you a blusher that I always always reach for on my holidays just because it goes with like any makeup look the finish of it is incredible I know they do loads of different colors but this one is my personal fave this one is the Becca luminous how what are they the Becca luminous blusher in tiger lily if you're like me and don't really like a really really pink cheek or anything that's too noticeable or you have blue or green eyes basically actually any eye color to be honest this one's just more like the orange base so would really make your eyes pop if they were of a lighter color this is honestly one of my favorite blushes ever it has such a gorgeous glow to it the orange undertone means that it's kind of super peachy and I feel like it looks really youthful as well and the formula of these is honestly a gorgeous like luminous blusher what more could you want on a summer holiday and they're super tiny and compact too so I feel like perfect for like your makeup bag and traveling super super lightweight so I really really love this product so sometimes applying a false lashes on holiday isn't ideal like if it's really hot the last thing you want to be doing is flapping around with eyelash glue so I have found kind of like my perfect combination if I don't want to wear false eyelashes just making my eyes look really like full and voluminous and I feel like on holiday sometimes you don't really need much eye makeup so just a good mascara and you're good to go so the combination I've been loving at the moment is the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara but after I've curled my eyelashes with the half eyelash curler from MAC. As you can see, it's not as big as your regular eyelash curler, and this means you can get super, super precise and kind of curl a lot more of your eyelashes. This allows you to kind of work your way around your eyes so you can get that full voluminous effect from them. Because sometimes with a big eyelash curler, it's, that's all it is, it's just one go. This you can go as many times as you want and like I said, work your way around the eye. And this mascara has honestly become one of my favorites. The brush, the formula, just everything, I'm in love with it. I don't feel like it flakes or anything, otherwise I probably would have suggested like a waterproof mascara for your holiday and not just like a regular one. But this one I just find it clings to your eyelashes, gives such gorgeous volume, and you can really work the rue. I'll have inserted a clip of what my eyes look like with just that mascara on, because I did want to include it, because I know I wear false eyelashes all the time. So just to show you what my lashes look like with it, I really, really love this. So if you're in the market for a new mascara, why not go to the drugstore? And just tried this one from Maybelline. You'd almost pick that up at the airport. Mm. 
So again with the makeup theme, I was thinking eyeshadow palettes. You don't want to be lugging around like 12 custom palettes just because you like that shade from that one and that one from that one. You want to bring just one palette that you can do everything with. So I was rummaging through my collection and I wanted to make sure that I was picking one that you one could do everything with. So there was a range of colours. Two, the kind of whole packaging was quite lightweight. And three, it was colours that I actually really liked. And I found this one from Zoeva. It is their, I don't know how you pronounce it, their Caramel Melange? Caramel Melange eyeshadow palette. You can see it is super, super thin. It is so lightweight. And the colours, <laughs> these literally scream holiday to me. I've got them on my eyes right now. I have just got two of the like crease colours and then a sparkly kind of champagne colour on my lid. But like I said, there are so many colours to choose from. You've got some darks to really deepen up and smoke out a look. Some really light ones as well for just an everyday kind of look. Honestly, I feel like you can do a whole holiday with this look. So that's kind of why I picked that. And there's a range of coppers and golds and slightly more pinkier colours. So again, you can mix up. You're not going to feel like you're repeating the look all the time. And this white here is such a gorgeous inner corner white. It is a matte. So maybe if you prefer a shimmery one on holiday, you should bring something else but honestly I just thought this was the perfect palette to bring on your summer holiday super lightweight put it in your bag and you're done and finally holidays are the perfect time to experiment with lip colors and get away with it and feel confident sassy and just I feel like it can make a summer look because I mean sometimes when you're on holiday can you really be asked to do a full glam eye I mean like I know I could, but not everyone can be asked to do a full glam eye look and whatever. And sometimes just nothing on the eyes and a gorgeous bright lip is like a statement in itself. So I have included kind of some lip options that I would take on my holiday. They're all of quite a similar colour nature, if that makes sense. But the first one is this gorgeous bright coral from NYX. This is in the shade Manila. And their soft matte lip creams, they are of a matte finish. They do take a little while to dry, but they are so lightweight on the lips. Super easy to like reapply if you need to. It's not like some liquid lipsticks when they dry and then when you reapply and it like kind of flakes a bit. It's, this is honestly, this formula of liquid lipstick is one of the most comfortable ones. Like it's a, it literally is a soft matte lip cream it's so soft on the lip and i just thought this color was absolutely gorgeous literally if you just like to wear all white hair up in a bun hoops no eye makeup just something like this i think looks super super pretty and this color kind of screams tropical flowers and stuff so i thought it was super appropriate for summer or if you're going somewhere hot just a really gorgeous lip option next up is another liquid lipstick and it is the color that i have on my lips right now but i have the next product after this on top of that but this is the anastasia beverly hills liquid lips in retro coral I love a coral one I mean the one before was kind of coral but it was definitely more of like a ready pink nature this is definitely more on the pinkier orangier peachier side so if you like a slightly lighter brighter lip this one is such a gorgeous color I mean the the brands and stuff that I'm showing you you could totally switch out just finding that I just love these kind of colors plus Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks the formula is honestly one of the best long wearing comfortable liquid lipsticks as well there is so 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 many colors to choose from i'll leave the link to the liquid lipsticks down below but honestly i love this one as you can see it's on my lips right now so you can see what it looks like i feel like it just makes light eyes pop but if you had a darker complexion i feel like this would actually be really stunning as more of like a nude but like a corally nude type thing so maybe with like a darker lip liner create that ombre the possibilities are endless but I literally love these kind of colors so definitely had to throw that one in there but if you're not a fan of a bright colors have no fear I have a lip gloss for you that I'm literally obsessed with at the moment it is the buxom full-on lip polish in katie honestly probably one of the most gorgeous lip glosses i've ever seen i will do a close-up of it for you but it's basically like a pearlized corally pink pinky peachy kind of color literally i've got it on top of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick right now. Totally wear this on top of the NYX one as well. But if you just wanted to wear something on its own and just look kind of super pretty, if you if you prefer more of like a dramatic eye and just something really quick and effortless on your lips, this is absolutely stunning. Their full on lip polish range is such a pigmented lip gloss range. They make your lips kind of tingle and plump as well, which is really good if you have slightly smaller lips or like the appearance of bigger lips anyway. But this one is honestly so pretty. I re I've been reaching for it so much more as just kind of 
of like a gloss to maybe warm up a nude lip if that makes sense but not apply too much color or anything it has such a gorgeous sparkle to it so if you haven't already definitely check this one out and finally one final lip product but it's probably one of the most important ones all this makeup and all this being out in the sun you want to make sure that your lips are staying hydrated and nourished and I literally you guys know I love this this is the Palmer's flip balm this is the coconut scented one they definitely do a watermelon and a mango watermelon was definitely my favorite but I love a good coconut scented product they are just so nifty like so small so compact just pop in your beach bag handbag out to dinner type thing whatever but just before you go to bed on your holidays before you go out in the sun just always good to keep your lips and nourished and hydrating and the coconut one i think does specialize mostly in being super hydrating and keeping your lips moisturized so there's nothing worse than dry lips on a holiday so maybe like before you just start your makeup just a quick prep of the lips if you're going to be applying applying a lot of matte lipsticks this holiday or anything like that you just want to make sure that they're nourished and in the best condition that they can so i really love this one so that was the finished video i really hope you guys liked it and you want to try out some of these products definitely let me know if there's ones that you want to try in the comments down below and like i said in the beginning of this video let me know what your summer makeup must-haves are in the comments down below definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and if you're new i would love to see you in my next video but until then I will see you soon bye guys